It's time for our conversation for the day. I'm joined in the studio by Christian Kwabna Andrews. He's the founder and leader of the Life Assembly Worship Centre. This morning, we're discussing Christmas, Christianity in Ghana today, and the police's warning to pastors, especially men of God, uh, on the prophecies that they tend to give within the festive season, especially 31st night, uh, because on that night, you hear all manner of prophecies from different pastors, different men of God, and different churches. Uh, Pastor, good morning. How are you? Good morning, my dear. Fine. Thank yeah? You. How, how has the year been for you? Uh, quite, to me, I'm in my heavens. Uh, I keep on enjoying myself. Uh, I don't have any problem because uh, uh, I have a fit that what is on the table for me today is what I'm enjoying. Uh, if God has any intervention to save this very country, it's whereby I'm trying to uh, just go in to intervene so that Ghanaians should be wise up and uh, take a decision on the uh, political front whereby we need to face out MPP and NDC are from uh, Ghana politics. Okay. Totally. We'll, we'll talk about politics a little later uh, before we wrap up the conversation. But you say that you are, you, you've had the best year. Yeah. You've had the best year. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Mm, I have the best year because uh, uh, whatever I'm doing for people, they were rewarding me. Uh, so when I get a reward, I think I'm okay with it. Uh, the impact which I'm giving well, to well, what the is people. the reward that you're getting? I'm getting a reward by giving me uh, money, give me food, give me everything. People that are I giving need. you money? Eh? Your church members? It might, uh, not even my church members. Those sick people that come to me that get their healing, they just give something. Uh, those who need intervention in the area of their lives, so when they come and they are solved, they give me something. Uh, because uh, I'm, I'm there uh, as a leader to shepherd most of them and also help them out for their problems. That is what church is meant for. We are there to solve problems. We are not there to carry anybody to any place. Uh, anybody that has a, a problem that you need to come so that I will assist for the person to be free. And from there that the person too can give me something. I see. Let's talk about Christmas. Okay. How has the Christmas been for you? Uh, I don't enjoy, I me. Mean, I don't have a Christmas at all. I don't enjoy anything about the Christmas. All what I know is that we are in process of going throughout life. Uh, so wherever we are now, it is we human beings that have turned it to be a Christmas, whereby people think that uh, today is the day that God, Jesus Christ was born and the others. Uh, Jesus came to save people, those at his era. He didn't come and save me. That I was not born. I was not in existence. So my belief is that the Spirit of God that lives in me, that I'm dealing with, it is not about somebody who has died and gone. So uh, I believe that it's a prophet that he came on this very earth, but his existence is no more. So what I trust is that uh, uh, the soul in me today and you, that we need to uh, protect and uh, continue to enjoy ourselves and, uh, until we pass away. So you don't believe in Christmas? I don't believe in, in, in a particular Christmas that we are enjoying. But all what I know is that all these things that we are doing, it's a woman's plans and a woman being have that range, all these things, that people go into it. And, uh, I mean, I don't believe in it. Mm, I yeah. see. So yeah. you don't celebrate it? I don't celebrate it. You're, even your church doesn't celebrate No, 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 no celebration. When you go to my, this, uh, my church, we don't see anything like Christmas tree, anything like uh, the Christian. No, you don't see anything of that sort. And that's because of your own beliefs? Yeah, that's my belief. You don't believe that Jesus was born on the 25th? Oh, no, no. So no. when was he born? Uh, uh, Jesus. But I was not there. How can I know? I was not there. By that time, you, your grandmother, your great grandmother, even about the 10th grandmothers were not there. 100 years, 100 years, 100 years, 2,000 years ago, nobody was there. Who is telling you that Jesus was born on the 25th? Me, those things, I don't go there. All what I know is that the Spirit in me that I'm using to help people. I see. You don't celebrate Easter as well? Not at all. You don't mark any of the calendars? Oh, no, I don't do it. You don't do it? No. Because you were not there? I was not there. So even what you have come to meet and the yeah. stories that you have been told, mm -hmm. you still don't believe that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe those things. I don't believe those things. I know it's a Pharisee. 
I know it's, it's uh, something that he just want to arrange in order to uh, make a slaves. That you want to believe in this, that you believe that it's heaven somewhere that you are going. This, this, uh, uh, this is a, a hell that you are moving into. When they so, when they say all these things for you to believe that there's something somewhere that you are going to enjoy, but the enjoyment is on this very earth. Going to church is to go and gather pieces of knowledge and build your life upon. Going to church is go there to go there to get. Uh, and maybe your healing or maybe to solve your problems because there are some leaders that they have been shaped in the way that they have marriage by telling you certain things when you put things together i think you, everything will be okay for you uh, uh, they will help you to build your life that is all that one i know and i believe uh, we have motivation speakers who are about 90 percent pastors in this country that they motivate people in order for them to forget their uh, problems and the others. Uh, they are there that they are motivating most of Ghanaians, but they are not helping them in any way. Interesting. Now, do you believe those who say that we have over-commercialized Christmas then as, yeah. as Christians? Yeah, that is what I'm saying, that uh, it is one of those things that they want to use to enslaved people. People. Yeah. So have you had this belief all the while or only when you became a pastor? And when when I became a pastor and when the Spirit of God started using me, I had opened my eyes and uh, my ideas were, were focused on that point and I realized that those things, they are things that we need, we need not to rely upon. Mm -hmm. There's no need for us to uh, follow all these things. This very time that we are in a season by staying at home, it can, it can go to factories and produce so many things because other countries need something. There's no need of holiday, holiday. Me, I don't believe in holiday, holiday. Okay. Now, I mean, in as much as you say you don't believe in it, for many Christians, Christmas is a time of reflection mm -hmm. uh, because we are celebrating the birth of Christ. I am a Christian and I believe in Christmas. Unfortunately, you don't, but that's okay. And we see, for many of us, as a period of reflection and celebrating the birth of the man who came to save all of us. Uh, what, what, what then would you say or when can, then, can we then celebrate the life of the man who came onto this earth to save all of us? Uh, do you know your grandmother? Yes. Uh, is he dead or is he alive? She's alive. What of your great grandmother? I did, don't or did know. you know what he did for you? He did. He produced your mom, uh -huh. and your mom to produce you. Have you ever celebrated her before? Do you know that he came to existence of this very earth in order for you to come to be? And have you celebrated that person? Boy? Don't somebody that you don't know. You have no. Somebody is telling you this thing. You don't know anything about that very person. Who do you worship? Who do you? Believe I worship in? God that lives in me. Okay. So, do you know God? I know God because I see, I hear from Him, and whatever He t tells me to do, when I do it, there's a result. But you think that other people shouldn't celebrate Jesus because they don't know Him? Because but you celebrate because God they, because you hear from because, Him? Because 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 they know Him, that's why they are celebrating Him. Me, I don't know Him. I don't believe in those things. Uh, my policy is that uh, what. It's on, it's on the table, it's what I'm enjoying. It is not something that I passed away. It is passed away, it's dead and it's gone, and I don't need to just ponder over those things, but rather continue to uh, listen to the voice that lives, but not the dead ones. Jesus said something, as you are saying, because he's a, a, a servant of God that he came to exist, and as they told us, they told us we were not there. But that time, as I, I was saying that, None of your great grandmothers have been born. Uh, they said, Jesus said, when somebody died, the spirit tends to be an angel. That's what they are saying. You understand? So, with this, uh, I sound to uh, believe in that thing, but I don't concentrate on that. My concentration is the spirit in me and the spirit in you. Whatever you tell me, what you see in your vision and your dreams, I believe those things than whatever is written in the Bible. I don't believe in those. So things. you don't preach with the Bible. I I I, I do sometimes compare certain things to it. You compare the Bible with what? Uh, uh, things that I do. So the healing powers that you have. Yeah. Where do you think you got them from? If from within me. Okay. I was created to be to do those things. That is the purpose of God for my life. As you were created to be here at GH1, uh, God shaped you to be here 
and it, it, from a creation, God decided this thing to come to being and it has come to pass. That's what I believe. So, uh, for you as a Christian, who do you seek to emulate? Who do mm. you want to be like? Uh, uh, just be like me, myself, because God, uh, uh, the, the, the image of God is in me. And that's what I'm portraying uh, for people to know the image of God, that I always need to be uh, kind to everybody. Uh, I need to share things that I have. Uh, I need and to. And who told you say, these things? Those are the, the inner spirit in me directed me to do those things. That's what I'm saying. The soul in me is what I'm following, but not anything outside. So which part of the Bible do you make reference to when you're preaching? When I'm preaching, uh, anything that comes to my memory. They said, example, that you people believed that Jesus said uh, somebody was sitting in the, this thing, uh, 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 on the ground that he said, stand up and walk, and the person walk. You believe those things. And I'm doing the same thing today. I hold this woman's hand, the person is walking. Why can't you believe me? But you were telling me that this one might be a, a fetish way of saving life. But what of the Jesus that you believed? You didn't see him. You were not there. But you believe that this is a story. But I'm doing it for you to see. This is a practical. Why do you have to? See that after but the people one. who wrote the Bible and told us about those miracles, they also saw it. Uh, it's not true. It's not true. Go, go to your, your Google and see that those people, they came and made the story. They corrected the pieces from some people. Then they said, oh, bring it. Do you have anything? They, have the, they got a meeting. They had a, a group of people that they decided to set up. But they were not there. Those people were not there. So we should, be, we should believe you were not there. Uh, if you believe in what I am doing, and believe yourself. Okay, if that is the case, then no one should be coming to your church. Why? Because we all have spirits in us, and but so they, the they, spirit should we, be leading us. No, those spirits, those people that come to me, they are coming to solve their problems, and then when they come, they get results out of that. And when they go to other churches, they don't get anything of that sort. Because that there is are no what, spirit in, the, in those no, ones. Oh, oh, perhaps I told you they are just uh, motivational speakers. About ninety-six percent of them. About 96% of the pastors in Ghana are motivational speakers. Are motivational they speakers. just uh, motivate people. They don't heal. They don't set people free. They but, don't but, give but, 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 but the Bible says not everyone shall be a healer for me. That, that they are apostles. Because, because they are they teachers. Have, oh, my dear. So not everybody, if everybody was healing, you wouldn't have mm -hmm. a job. My, my dear, let, let me come in this thing. In the aspect of the Spirit of God. Mm hmm being a leader when the spirit come upon you you heal you you set people free captive and this sort of things where people, do you get that from uh, the bible you see where are you quoting that from? no i'm quoting it from the bible because that's what they are saying and it's so, so but, but why are you why are you using that scripture to but I told emulate you, what I told, you do. I told you i told you i do reference to that so when it suits you you refer to the bible it, it when it does because not because i've done it okay but when i when i do it I refer it but, because if I didn't do it, I will not refer anything of that sort. Okay, but do you also realize that not everyone needs healing? I am not sick, so you, I may not need healing. It is not I healing, may need someone to it, encourage it, me. It, it, it is not healing alone. You understand? It is not healing alone. But somebody might not be a pastor, but you can go there. You can even mentor you uh, and put your life in very good shape. But you say that they are motivational speakers, yeah, and that a real pastor is supposed to what heal a real pastor people need to free. heal. You need to show the power of God. You need to set people free. You need to just it's a, a intervention. You should give. You should come in and save people, but not rather telling them history, what have been written there. No, and anybody can read and tell you. Huh? You need those who can raise their hands, and the spirit that follows you will, will be departed, and you'll be free. Those people that can heal, those people that can tell you your secrets, secrets of life. You understand? Whenever you sit before them, God will tell them everything about you. I will tell you. This is, this, this is what is happening. You say, Pastor, it's true. I'm not there, but I'll be able to tell there you. Are, there are many who say that you take advantage of people uh, because we have become so enslaved to religion that we believe a lot of the things that some of you pastors say and because you know that is what we want to hear can you, that can is you, what you keep saying to us and that you, for someone like you can you 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 a lot of the things you do are not real they are fake listen to me 
can you go to bring somebody who have been being a wheelchair for 20 years the person is here can you people chase me take my videos and visit them and see whether it's true or not so you mean today if we brought someone who has been in a wheelchair for 20 years you can heal them if the person gets if the person get the faith in me that comes to me and god said this is a spiritual thing i'll deliver the person if the person is, if the god says that this one is a sickness i'll give you helps i'll tell you take this very helps take this you'll be healed and you'll be healed if that's the case why are you not going around and healing all the people in the hospital how can i how can you go around a, can you go around to at all the tv stations and speak to the people in the country Oh, but I have a platform. Me, me I'm too, using I have, it. That's why I have my platform. Uh, but if you can heal, and that is your core mandate, so there are that, people no, who I'm are on, stuck I'm in, in the hospital room. and they need healing. I'm in my room, my church. You can come there, I'll heal you. Okay. You have your platform here, you're speaking to the people. Yeah. And I have to have my church. If you come, you get my healing. How much does that cost? Oh, for me, uh, sometimes, like you yourself, you come. Definitely, you're going to pay more than 2000 Two thousand cities. Yeah, two thousand. I will correct. For what because, exactly? Because because you don't believe in me, and you want you want something from me, I will give it to you. If you believe in me, you'll be in my church. You not pay anything. If you have you have a problem, I'll solve it for you. But you don't believe in me. You believe in another person that you'll be with them, and you are sick there. You'll be brought to me. Ah, my friend, I won't, I won't just joke with it. You charge. I will. Get, I will. You collect money from you. And the least is two thousand. And not the least is two thousand. I'm saying you. So I mean, the a normal Ghanaian who comes to your church. It depends. It depends on the person's problem that you bring to. What me. What is the range? Uh, and what are some of the problems? It depends on come. the person's problem. Somebody come, you can even get money and go away. Somebody come, he is he, he's in poverty. You solve the problem and just dash the person something. So you are not all about healing. I'm not all about healing. Everything in taste in the spiritual realm. I'm there to save people. I destroy, destroy idols. I heal people. I, I, I just say. Why do you destroy idols? Idols. Those who have the problem with it, that I destroy it. If you, uh, the spirit is tormenting you, come and call me. I'll come and destroy those things and save you. So those who worship idols but are not being tormented, you leave them oh, to worship yeah, their idols. Yeah, yeah, it is their own uh, belief. I can't tell them that they should stop and come and follow me. Until they get the problem. As you are sitting down because you say you don't have any problem. If tomorrow you have a problem that you go round round, you don't get anybody, you realize that ah, let me go and see Chabosu. By the time that you come, this question that you are asking me, I'm going to ask you. You have uh, alone last you have come to me. So I mean your name says Wuchi Abusum, not yeah. the ones that are tormenting people. Yeah. So you naturally hate Bosom. I hate it. But you said that for those who are not being tormented, you leave them to worship the Abusum. Because it belongs to them. You hate somebody's behavior, but it's with the person. Mm. How can you stop the person not behaving that way? I don't hate, I hate these things. But this means I won't talk to you. I'll, come, I'll not come into your line. Okay. Yeah. There, there are pastors who do the things you do, heal the sick and all that. Mm -hmm. And they believe that God heals for free. Why do you charge or why would you charge me? Can you give me one of the pastors that have got the healing, that healing that you have been showing me to me in this Ghana, this country that tell me that any pastor that has Dougie somebody... Dougie Mills. He has a healing what? crusade. Uh, what? Uh, uh, can you give me an example of those things? I have just told you that no, was, you Mills me, has a healing crusade. Can you show it to me? Me, go to internet You right know Dougie Wood Mills? Me, I know him. What you I'm know he has a healing crusade? When you have a healing crusade, it's, the, a, it's I, a matter I, of... I have been a member of that church for what, what 20 I'm saying, years. What I'm saying is that go to internet, go and look at the healing uh, things that I've done, and bring uh, your miss healing. And let me see. I have I haven't witnessed your healing, but I have witnessed his but healing. What I'm saying and he healed for free. He didn't charge oh, anybody. My, my he dear, goes to he go, dear, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dear, hold on. I will let dear, you speak. If you hold on to, for me. Go ahead. He goes to communities and the sick are brought and mm. they pray and mm. they get healed. He mm. doesn't charge. You say you heal also, but you want to charge for it. My members my members are here, they're not being charged. If you are not my member, you come, I will not give it to you free. Because you didn't brought me to this very level. My members are there listening to me, and God is keeping them, and they, they are attending to my church. When there's, I need a paint, they bring money, I paint. When I need chairs, they buy me chairs. And you are sitting at your home, and you, want, you are sick, you want to come to me, and you want to correct the healing free. I will not give it to you free. So if you, your mother is giving people free, 
it is one uh, this thing that you have decided to do that you, don't do that. From, you know, from the things that you just said, it appears you think you are the best healer in Ghana. Listen to me. I will not say that because I have not gone to visit anybody's uh, church. I have not seen anything of that sort. But to me, I believe myself. Mm. You understand? When you come to me, to you witness to that. You people, if you are, you can go to net. Uh, type life assembly or so future. You see, oh, all this is, is in abundance. When you see them, you look at it well. And if you, if you, a GH1 can uh, be in the position to come to me, I'll give you videos. You go and visit the, the people's house, visit them, call them, go and see, interview them and see, and bring we, it. We, we, have, we have heard stories of people who have had to plan with pastors to, oh. to execute some of these My things. Dear, coming, have you not? Coming to coming to my church for somebody to be healed uh -huh. you go to the vicinity of that very person everybody there will be witnessing that oh it's true this woman was sick and now he's healed when you go to the net as i'm saying you see somebody who is sick who was who was very lean and now he's now good he's now in very good shape can you tell me that is a fake somebody who have been who are who, who is very sick very tidy and it comes and i heal the person and now he's better how can you tell me that is fake so it is a uh, something that they they are just saying uh, that's what they are saying because they don't have the power to do the same thing so they will convince their uh, their church members and tell them that oh what he's doing is fake it's not true because they don't have the power to do the same in order for the church members to stay with them they would continue to tell them the stories. Okay. So you don't believe in Jesus Christ? I believe that Jesus was a servant of God that came to this earth and he's gone. And he's gone? Yeah. And so you don't believe that whatever life we're trying to emulate as Christians, it shouldn't be like that of Jesus Christ? It should be, it should be in the spirit within you that tells you what to do. And also those that are in existence, their lifestyle, you think is good or what he's doing is good. Let's, let me follow this person. That's okay. all. I, I mean, somebody. if you believed in that, I would have asked you what you, whether you think as Christians we've been able to live the Christ-like life. But you don't believe in that, do you? I believe in the good things that people do. So if Christ did the good thing, you emulate good. Okay. What, what are your thoughts on the Twelve Commandments? The Twelve Commandments. It, it, it was set for somebody who are gone. They are dead. Gone. It, it, it was the not said for me. The, the the ten, ten. It was not said for me. I mean, I believe in the spirit in me. What so about the spirit? All the things so that I, the Ten Commandments says, you don't believe in them. Oh, I believe in things in me right now, but not what was said for Israelites. Uh, we are not Israelites. They are dead and gone. Jesus came into Israel. Jesus said, "I'm praying for those that you give to me, but not the world." And what of that very thing? He says, "You pray for those that you, you give to me." I'm not praying for the world because Jesus was uh, uh, was appointed to deliver his own people at his own corner, and he has finished. And somebody wrote this story and bring it to us, and we, we continue to follow this thing for it is to us. It's making us slave. Just they are enslaving us. We too have some people in this very country that they have the power of God in them. That we need to listen to whatever they tell us so that we can move on. So if I have a spirit which says that. The spirit in you is fake, and what you're doing is fake. And the spirit tells you, the, the spirit tells you, if somebody is sick and I heal the person, and you tell me that it's fake, it's up to you. Mm. I see. Yeah. So you believe, let's go back to the Jesus Christ conversation, you believe that Jesus Christ is a servant of God? <laughs> I believe that he's one of the apostles that came on this earth. And he's dead and gone. And gone. So we have no business emulating. Uh, no, no, uh, no, not business emulating. The good thing that he did, that yeah. somebody have heard it. If the person follows and the thing goes down well with the person, I think it's good. okay. Okay. Do you believe in the Holy Trinity? What kind of Holy Trinity are you talking about? I know God is alive. God is God. Mm. You can't tell me just Jesus is God. If Jesus is God, you wouldn't have come out to say that, Father, uh, forgive them. There's somebody there, you understand? Why is he? Uh, he's, in, in, he's close with us. He's a spirit. The creator. The God is the God of creator. When you pray and you say God, you have said nothing. But when you say a creator, 
then you know you are moving towards the one that created the heaven and earth. But they say, I pray God do this, God do this. You are wasting your time. Mm. Uh, God, there are so many gods in the whole wide world. But when you remember that you mentioned that the, the God that creates this earth, that you attach it to the main God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, for your church members, I mean, you say that they should emulate or do the things within them that tells them it is good. Yeah. How about the bad things that we do? The bad things that they go, that, that, that is why we keep on educating them. That's why I'm saying that when you come to church, those have the Christian spirit will tell you what the good thing that they should do. So if they go, the, they go any uh, any way of doing any other thing, which is contrary to the thing that good thing that within them, then they need to be talked to, advice. Some people need to be healed, need to be delivered out of those things. They need to be cautioned. Those things, On what basis are you cautioning them? Because you inevitable. say that the Ten Commandments were written for someone. So what are you cautioning them based on? Because, I mean, sin is, 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 is relative, right? What may, I may find sinful, you may not find it sinful. So what are you cautioning them based on? Oh, but you go and steal somebody's sin. Is, is, is it the Ten Commandments that is telling you not to steal? But it says do not steal also. But then when you go to Muslim community, uh, do they have the Ten Commandments in the other sin? In their, in their, I am in their not Quran. a Muslim, so I cannot. Uh, no, I cannot they, they don't have it, but they know perfectly that if you do, if you do anything that wrong, they need to punish you. You see, it is not those written that is telling us what, what to do. Our great grandmothers that who, who were there, they know better things than what they have been written to the Bible. What are they telling us? Bible came and meet these our leaders. They were here, eh? and they was we were living in peaceful. Eh? Then also for you, you really have no business preaching with the Bible. Oh, as a man, I'm okay. Huh? As a man, I'm okay. The thing is, if I refer somebody to you, mm -hmm. that this lady, uh, her lifestyle is very good. This, do, 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 uh, do, uh, that, is, that means that uh, uh, I shouldn't compare you to somebody. We need to compare. Because the good thing that we think if we get out of it that we need to tell people. But somebody did it. And they, they are no more. You understand? But they believe it. So you need to refer to them that the Bible that they coach you to believe, you understand, said this, a man lying, say it's true. Then if I'm doing this thing today, you need to believe me too. But you yourself, do you believe in the Bible? Oh, if I don't believe in that, I shouldn't have even thrown it. I, I will have thrown it. I have not put it in my book. So Definitely, there are, certain things, there are certain things in it that I compare it to. But when, when they tell you that uh, uh, Satan went to the uh, Eden uh, this and then uh, convinced uh, Adam and Eve and those things. And they come out to tell us that uh, Satan was in heaven and was brought down uh, to this uh, uh, what, what are they telling us? Are they telling us that Satan's are they too? Why did they Eden this and forest and the one to from heaven from the sky to descend? All these things is, is, is not important. Let's go to the, uh, this is the prophecy that we were talking about. We will, we will get to the prophecy. Uh, just yeah. to let our Today, give me two hours. We, we, we are also live on Star 103.5 FM, and I'm with the leader and founder of the um, Ghana Union Movement. I know you, I know you, I thought you are, you are going to say controversial, man. No, no. Okay, no. good. No. Ghana Union Movement, that is a, a goom. Goom, yeah. yeah. Are you controversial? A very controversial. Okay, so on a typical day, I mean, I still want us to dwell a bit on the Bible. Um, on a typical day, Sunday, when you wake up to go to church, what do you do? Do you, because I know pastors write down I don't write their anything. messages for the day. I don't write anything. And they go, so what do you do? Uh, it is in me. When mother I stand on the pulpit, just, it just comes. I'll tell the people this and this and that. You what, see? what do you normally say? There are so many things. I'm not on the pulpit. So on Sunday, this past Sunday, what did you preach about? Um, so this Sunday, I preach about the things that you need not let people, somebody see your, the beginning of everything because they will kill it before you get to the end. Where did you get that from? I get it from me. The Spirit tells me, tell your people that whatever they are beginning, they shouldn't let it be exposed to, to other people because yes. the people have the power to destroy the beginning is it the spirit of God? The spirit that tells me. It's is it spirit the spirit of God? Of the creator in me. And that is not... But you just said a while ago that the creator is God. Yeah. 
in so you God is in me. Of God. Yes, it's in me. So God is in you. Yeah. But this thing you are saying that yeah. don't tell these are advices that we've had from our parents and our grandparents. Mm -hmm. You are not the first person to say it. Which one? That don't let people know the beginning of what you are going to do because they there's a possibility they may destroy it. I have heard it so many you times. You have heard it. My somebody mother, my so, mother advises you, you have heard it. Somebody in my church so has not people, heard it. Okay. It is everyday conversation that so we you, are keeping. Does it may, can it be that you des, you didn't necessarily hear it from the spirit, but it is or you also advices that you've been able to gather in your life experiences me, that you are using to advise. Me, listen to me. I don't listen to anybody. Me, I don't read anything from anywhere. Uh, you see, you see me sitting down here. The voice that I hear. If I'm healing somebody, the per the spirit will tell me, just bring the tools together. The person cannot walk. Bring the tools together. I hold the tools. I bring it together like this. They say, do it for three times. I do it three times. The person start walking. You see. The spirit of God. The spirit of God in me okay. will tell me, maybe you will come, you are sick. He will tell me that maybe you draw a line mm. Mm, mm -hmm. in the forehead of this very person. Mm -hmm. Or maybe hold the finger, mm -hmm. close it, mm -hmm. open it three times, mm -hmm. the person will be healed. Mm -hmm. You see, we have certain things that uh, the spirit, spiritual world hit it. They hit those things. So if you, if somebody brought it to you, then you have the the, the ear of listening to the Holy Spirit will tell you that this very person, let the person sit down, straight the legs, uh, go backward and leave the person. The person will walk. And why I do the same thing? The person will walk. So this inner spirit in me will tell me what to do. It is nothing else. Okay. Okay. So on Sunday, that's what you talked about. Yeah, I talked about that. And your members were happy. You didn't quote any scripture. But... Not, not my members alone. Uh, those people outside that listen to me is who heard it. Okay. Do you prophesy? Prophecy comes to me through somebody. If it is about somebody, I will call the person and tell the person. Uh, I don't come out to prophesy to the people uh, in the church about somebody. If the thing is for the church to emulate, then I will come out and tell them that this is what God is telling me. The spirit in me tells me that don't do this or do that or this thing is going to happen. It is about the nation and concern the nation and I think it's very important for me to bring it out. I will come out with it for people to hear. But it's not, it's not on the Christmas. 31st night prophecy that comes, uh, about 99% of them are fake. God doesn't speak on the particular day. He's speaking throughout the year as we know. So God can speak today, the person can bring it out. But if you wait till that at first night that they announce it, take the person about ninety nine percent of prophecies that will come. This very at first night as a fake prophecy. It is not from God. That lives in us. That uses us to do things on this very earth. Do you yourself hold thirty first night services? Uh, yes, I, I, I hold a uh, services on that very thirty first night. Why? Uh, I hold it because because I got a, a time to meet the people at that time that they are home, but they are saying they are celebrating Christ. I, I, I don't quite get that. You, so, don't, you don't like to mark the calendars. You don't celebrate Christmas. You don't celebrate... But I have, to, I have the opportunity to get the people. Easter. All what I'm looking for is for the people. So if I get this opportunity that they are home, oh, come, oh, come, come and meet me. And what do you tell them? I tell them what is in me. What God tells me that I'm going to give to them. To so usher them into the new year. Yeah, usher them, usher them into the new life, but not new year. God doesn't know any new into year. Into the new life. Yeah. But you don't believe in, in, in celebrating Christmas. No, I don't believe in those You things. don't believe in that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when the prophecy is about an individual, you mm. don't give it in open church. That's no, no, I won't saying. do that. I won't do you that. won't do that. You've never done that. Uh, no. I won't do that. You won't do that. You'll call them individually and uh, tell them. But, if, if, it, you if, but them? if it is for... Uh, for our politicians mm -hmm. uh, who don't have ear to listen. When you say they don't have ear to listen, they don't have ear to because they don't watch TV. Okay. You understand? They don't have a telephone to call them. I'll put it out for people to take that it to them. That you will say it's in church. Yeah. Okay. What What are some of the prophecies that you have given in the past? In the past, in the past, I think uh, before the election that I came out with a prophecy that Nanado is going to win this early election. And what it does things well, even Baumia and the co will follow. 
and uh, when it gets to about a year later the spirit of god the spirit of god in me it told me that these people that are entreated to come and save the country they can't do anything anymore they are going to feel this that so rise up and bring up a party and so that moment i went to canada japan uh, because he was my former uh, station's uh, owner uh, as fm uh, so i went to him i'm very close to him because i've been uh, been with him for so many years i went mm. to him i told him that uh, uh, god has given me the distance that i should bring out a party uh, so he was even telling me that uh, he thinks i'm going to take people out of uh, mpp and the others i said no not at all but to uh, let people know the things that we have in the country which have been abandoned uh, so uh, he said okay pastor then you can go ahead okay so I tell from there. okay uh, we will talk about goom um, a little later don't worry okay but let's still stay on the prophecy maybe you're giving me you're giving me you're giving me two hours so don't worry <laughs> let's still stay on the prophecies um you say that 99 percent of the prophecies I are think, fake yeah. we're getting into another election year you prophesied that nanado will, will win the election uh, yeah, uh -huh. prior to the what 2016 yeah. elections if you go so, to the net i think it's there okay yeah. we're getting into another election year w what do you have for us what is the spirit god has not spoken hey, why can i come out with something so god hasn't spoken yeah. but when he speaks you will come out and speak. whenever he speaks i'll come out with it but you don't believe those who get the message on the night of the that particular first. night no i don't believe them but for you god can speak to you at any time anytime but they, for they them too. god can't speak to them they at that can time. speak to them, them anytime but anytime is today what do you have do you have to wait for that verse but what if that is when god spoke to them no so no, so I, I remove one out of it i say 99 percent what what is the one percent mention one what percent is those that will come Who? with the truth to one uh, give me an example of how can i can i give you an example because god have not shown me that person that they have spoken to so if you don't know then how do you know that the others are fake but i'm saying that that faithful day 99 percent of them are fake one percent can be somebody so let's wait for wait but for in them. the in all your years of being a pastor yeah who is that one man of god who you believe has been given true prophecies for the one to now how how many prophecies of them that, that have come to pass this one a chief imam is going to die uh, and, and, and and this one is going to die this one is going to happen what prophecies have they come out today that has come to pass i've not seen any i have not seen any any of those prophecies that they talk about you see so i can't come out with, no i don't see any of them all. me to me i don't see any of them all. maybe you have you, you know them you can tell me you don't know your colleague pastors oh i don't know any are you not so part of any association or group? not at all why why do you have to be in that situation because you yourself a spiritual man of god that what what the meaning of that situation for what they have setting up this thing in order to uh, uh, this thing share ideas and uh, monitor the situations and they uh, come out and say something they just read the the weather uh, people that things that people say they bring it together and they come out to tell you this uh, this is going to happen oh master but you don't do Madam, the same thing uh, pardon you don't do that oh have you heard me saying anything of that all right stay with us you're still watching gh today i'm here with the founder of the um ghana union movement who is also a pastor we are live on star 103.5 fm we'll be back shortly after the break we'll get into the police's statement on prophecies
obviously are using flower tissues, my dear, because the flower tissues, they are soft and easy on the skin and they leave no particles. I hope you had a good time. I had fun, thank you for dinner. Are you okay? Do you want to use the washroom? Hey, broke uncle. I will tell auntie. Ah, fat chummy. I just love how it feels. Welcome back to the show. This is GH Today. I am Sewami here. If you just joined us, I've been talking to the leader and founder of the Life Assembly Worship Center and also the founder of the Ghana Union Movement, popularly known as GUM, Christian Kwabana Andrews, popularly known as Osofo Chirabosum. And we've been talking about Christmas, Christianity, and now we're talking about prophecies. Have you seen the statement from the Ghana Police Service? Yeah. You've read it? Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, it's a good idea. They should monitor. They, they shouldn't just bring the statement as they have brought it, just for bringing it sick, but rather follow it well, and also monitor the internet, and also the churches. Me, it is not for them to even wait at their uh, police headquarters waiting for a, a, the message be sent through the internet before they go but they can rather send police officers secrecy ideas to the churches uh, those that they, they, they normally bring those um, uh, prophecies outside uh, they should be among them and record them uh, so that they can get the vivid ones that because sometimes uh, a prophecy can be there but they will not bring it out for people to but you have already given it to the people to consume it at the church of which you be, you might not get it on the internet and uh, so if the igp is listening to me uh, or a message will be carried to igp that you should set a spy uh, throughout the country at least uh, 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 you can set some of the group of the churches that you can uh, send some people there they will be in the midst of them and they see and uh, and not that is the only thing that i want igp to do those churches that they think they are doing a miracle that they can even set somebody to be there for more than six months for the person to monitor every miracle that goes on over there follow the miracle and see if it is a true miracle that they are doing or not so, so, okay, so you can don't mind the, the igp sending the police to even your church yeah okay but it shouldn't be a police in the police uniform it should be somebody as a church member okay it will be there Witnessing so everything goes events. on. Yeah. Is, are you saying this because on the thirty-first night you will not be prophesying? No, no, no. The thirty-first. I'm talking about. Oh. You're talking Every about time. all through. Yeah, all through. Well, six months. Okay. Only the person can be church member for about six months. Can we get closer to the pastor? You understand? He can start even giving gifts to the pastor. He can so that he can even donate something to the uh, pastor, for the person to the pastor will not be realized realizing those things that right. he, he will be caught. Uh, you see, they, they need, if they want to do the thing perfectly in this country, this idea that I've given to them, they, it will shock everybody. Uh, also for troubles, are there that many fake pastors in Ghana? Uh, uh, me, I'm, a, I'm aware. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking you. Uh, I'm aware. That's what I'm saying. But nothing that person uh, this is a prophecy that will come, will not be from God. Uh, uh, there are so many of which I cannot pinpoint anybody to you, but I know within me, I know them. Well, who are they? I think you are the best person to tell me because you know most of them. But I know them doesn't mean that I know they are three. Me, I know them, but I can't come out with it. Why? Meet me at the corner. I should meet you where? At the corner. Somewhere. You tell me. In I'll the tell you. You're not meeting. brave to protect God's work. A brave to point out those who are If I want to, if, if I want to God. point it out to somebody, by the time I go out this way, people will bring sticks and stones and crucify me. Because they, they have faith in them, 
because they are giving them motive uh, a particular church in somewhere that i want to don't want to mention i have some ladies beautiful ladies said there that goes to market to some big 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 shops telling them stories and bring them to the church in order to deliver message to pastors to give them as a prophecy they are there they are all over some people will come to you because nobody can be set for you you understand come this lady i want something from her just be close to her and get me everything you understand the person will come to you you meet you at a party you'll be very close to your person you get to know your secret you sell it over there you in turn tell you that's what some of the pastors are oh, doing me i have me i have so many secrets that i know i know Somebody most of their told secrets you this. my dear but you don't do it i have an eye to see things you understand in a spiritual and a physically too me, if a, a pastor is moving here and there preaching whatever i do Mm. Mm. I see. Now, on the prophecies and the yeah. statement from the Ghana police, do you you say that the police should send people to monitor the churches? Yeah. But there are many who say that the police really has no business in monitoring or trying to control God's work. Uh, but but what we we just want to uh, 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 prevent certain things which will destroy our country, and also in order to not to. Uh, pollute the Christian dog. You understand? So now, if a police is setting a, 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 a somebody at the church mm -hmm. to monitor things for us, if the good things will be reported, bad things will be reported. You understand? They can call the pastor to caution that pastor. This and this is what we have seen in the church. You don't want to see those things again. It's a first question. You want? Do, do, are you saying that you want churches to be regulated? Then oh, they have to. Churches should be regulated. They have to. They have okay. to do that thing because they are members of this very. They are citizens of this country. That somebody corners some of them at some place, poisoning them, and they will use that poison to poison their children. And in that show, a year to come, two years to come, is going to destroy our nation. So we need to put a platform where we are going to monitor certain things of that nature in order to shape our country. We need to do that. I see. So you're calling for regulation. Yeah. How many how many times do you hold services a week? I don't hold services a week, just Sunday. You only do Sunday service. So yeah. when do you do your miracles? Sundays. Sundays. And also anytime anybody comes to the counseling session, that it can happen. Somebody, when, is, when is your counseling session? I, I sit down always waiting for people to come and see me. Monday to Saturday? Yeah. So you hold services every day? I don't so hold so. services. I'm saying the service is on Sunday. But for you to come to see me, it's not a service. It's a counseling session that I hold. It's a counseling session? Yeah. And you perform miracles at that Over session. there, when the person comes and is sick, and God tells me that this person is a, a spiritual sickness, heal the person, I will do that. If it is a matter of taking medicines and also ask you to go and see a doctor for operation, I'll tell you that this one, you need to go and put a operation because there's a broken joint here and there. You need to do that. Okay. So you will abide by the caution by the police, yeah, from yeah, the police. Yeah. But what would you say to your other colleague pastors? I will tell them that they should allow that thing to happen. And also, they shouldn't let them be aware that somebody is coming there. Let the IGP take a decision not to let this one come out, but rather do it secretly. I'm talking about your other colleagues, the pastors. The pastors. What message do you have for them? I'm telling them not to go in a way of breaking out uh, materials that will, people will consume. That will not bring any good thing to our lives. When you come out and say that uh, I've seen that this person is going to die today, this person is going to, it's not going to bring anything good to us. Because when you see that person is going to die, there's no solution. To that very effect if the person do you know the person go and see the person if you cannot see the person that you can you come out to something me i got a prophecy about the two for i call him is it what about those who don't have access to, to uh, him? that's why uh, those who don't have access to him they have some of the chiefs around you can tell them it's a personal prophecy so i can't come out and go at uh, air uh, and come out and say this. But things. you said earlier that when it's about the country or a politician, no, but, that's who but Otufo have... is a single handed person that you can get a chance to. But people visit politicians him. are also individuals. You can't you, you can't go there 
Can you go to Nanado? You can go to Nanado. Me, I go, I go to but Nanado. You can go to Otumfo. Yeah, me, I can go to Nanado. I pick a phone, I call. Then I want to visit you. You allow me to come. The other day I called him, I said, Pastor, I'm in the country. When I come, I will call you. When he came, he called me. I went, to, I sat down with him, I said, I'm sitting down with you. So, you for that one, prophecy. yeah. And but the, for no, the other it is not, it is not prophecy. It publicly. <laughs> but you have a problem when your other colleagues say this publicly because they probably may not have access. To they the you have an access. Listen to me. Somebody's own matter shouldn't be bring out You're for public consumption. Yourself. No. Listen to me somebody that you cannot go to uh -huh. you understand it's somebody that you cannot go to you can get some access somebody that can go to if you, nobody you can't get anybody to get to that very person that you definitely not that you have somebody that you can talk to one and two and three if they don't can, go and tell him you can come out and say but you can't for the first time you can't come out and block what if they have also tried that if they have tried that, what if they have tried reaching him through? Then they can blow it. They can blow it. So you don't if have they a problem don't. with that. No, I don't have. A, if they only they know that what they are saying is true, what they are saying is true, but their personal matter should be personal, and then for the nation, you can come out of it and let people be aware. So you had a prophecy about Otumfo. Yeah. And you gave it to him. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. What was it about? Uh, why, why do you have to come out and tell you this? Somebody's personal issue that I need to come and discuss with you. I, I'm, I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm a spiritual person. I, I can't carry your information to anybody. Mm. But whatever I see about you, I tell you. It is not somebody else that I'm going to say. Tell, you know. I see. Yeah. And you, he believed in the prophecy. I believe in the prophecy. Did he believe comes, in the prophecy? Or what do I have to tell you? I'm not in his mind, conscience, he's not in his mind. But whatever I tell him, he said, Oh, whatever Pastor is telling you people is true. You people are witness to that. And uh, he confessed it in front of the kings that were, were in the room. And so, I mean, whatever I come out with it is true. I don't lie. Because the enemies are all around waiting for my downfall. Mm. You understand? So I will never lie. Mm. And I won't lie because fetish are looking for me, uh, wicked uh, politicians are looking for me, fake persons are looking for me, uh, those that hate me are looking for me. Me, my enemies in the country, they are plenty, Papa. I see. Mm. So, this prophecy about yeah. Otumfo, whatever it was, where, was it averted? Why, why do you want to know that? Why There's don't no need for you know? talking about. If well, that was somebody's personal prophecy, you were you, to go were you able to avert you it? can't ditch you can't ditch into that. Don't go there. Were Let's, you able to change it? Whatever I'm telling you, it was. I'm telling you, I'm saying don't don't ditch into those things. It's settled and it's no more. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about your presidential ambition. Okay. You, I know that you've been itching to talk about it. Yeah, for that one. Boom. Yeah. How is it going? Yeah, Google is coming out to the uh, uh, this thing, a very great plan of uh, campaigning uh, for people to get to know uh, the state of this very nation uh, and the, in the era of Mama and Co and the MPP and the NDC. So we are praying that uh, people in the country will follow Gum and and uh, just we need to uh, avoid MPP and NDC because they can't do anything for us in this very country. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is that, you see, uh, Mama came and met a crew from market. Mama came and met uh, so many affordable houses everywhere. He didn't complete it. He decided to build a new one. Nanado came and do the same thing. Uh, he came and beat even his own, uh, his own master, Kofo, did so many affordable houses in the country that he need to complete them. He didn't even touch any of them, but mm. he said he's going to start uh, another affordable houses. Uh, it's all because when they start, they get a booty. And those things that have been started already, they know that the booty has been taken away already, so they won't get anything out of that. Like if you go to, uh, let me give you an example that I mentioned, the crop from market, which will take about 8,000 uh, market men, the shops uh, have been abandoned. Which is just about eighty percent complete. But you go and start central market. Are, are you all right? Mama came and made that crew from market. He just left it and go and do uh, uh, the same to the KGT market. Now, 
uh, when you go to other areas, mm. Mama put these very e schools mm -hmm. all over. Mm -hmm. Nana didn't touch them. Mm. He would say, I'm going to build a secondary school, said this and this. Are. They are lies. They, they are not people to be trusted. They are people that they want to go and collect the loan and come and enjoy the booty out of it and leave as a debt and go. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm educated the youth of this very country and those that have the Ghana at their heart uh, to vote out these very people because they are not going to help us at all. Go stand in the position of bringing an idea of uh, 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 reviving the factories which have been abandoned by Nkoma uh, in the state of uh, when you go to the match, matches factory that you take the place is already there uh -huh. uh, when you go to Monster Times the raw materials are there because the robbers uh, they said they have been selling to Ch Chinese and Cote d'Ivoire uh -huh. and when you go to Islamic's uh, factory we have the raw materials are there all what we did is the uh, machinery and the technical people that will mine those areas. So we have all the raw materials that can fill the factories uh, there, but they are not thinking about those things because they are thinking of their own selfish game. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying about Mama came out to say something about 24-hour economy. 24-hour yeah. economy. Yeah. Uh, whatever you said, it's a something that will be useful in the near future, but not but at not this now. time. Because you see, uh, we need to have the factories you need to have uh, all those things available uh, before you can run the 24 hours. Because if you don't have any factory, if you don't have anything of that, so how can you run the 24 hour? But can't it be done gradually? Uh, what, what, where are you going to start? With the, the existing factories Which that one? we have. Which one? Which government factory are they talking about? They don't have. So it is us to come out and say that we are going to use this very youth to build our our district economy and later on you run that very 24 hours because you see when you look at uh, 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 the factories that have been abandoned it can take so many youth to work over there 24 hours can be applied over there go in the morning close at this time go in the morning close. all those very work that we have is a government owned works like a, a, a police service military uh, fire service prison service those will do service services that they have what are we talking about we need income we need money in this very country it is not a work that we're going to empty our purse but see? but but uh, according to john mahama yeah. the whole rationale behind the 24-hour economy is to create more jobs so what i'm saying is the 24-hour cannot work now unless we create the jobs you see, when the but job is on the, there, the, 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 the policy that will create the jobs. Oh, what, what, can, what are you going to bring in with it? So if the, if the companies are there, if they are operating, yes, they if will the need companies to are operating. Now there's two companies. Oh, but they are factories. There's one, Which one? one district, one factory. Oh, where is it? You haven't where, seen Where any? do you stay? Where do you stay? Do you have a factory over there? A district that you are in, do you have a factory over there? Ask your mother or your grandmother or wherever they are. But ask them and see they will show you any factory any somewhere you don't have it it is just a, a, a something like a, a white elephant that you have been put in there when you go there you don't see anything you see the sandboard you go there the land is there nothing has been done you see everything being set oh it's going to be end up this year when you go there you don't see anything sometimes you go and see even a small structure uncompleted one over there then they tell you the one is the one for the computer. Somebody's work that he's doing, somebody will go and put a sample that one is to one factory, of which I have taken just a few people. And so they are doing this to nothing to help us. Uh, we need to renew our mindset and change these very leaders. I think because they are old enough not to think ahead, that is why they are behaving that way. Okay. Do you believe that you are the third force? Uh, I'm not a third force now. Now, now I'm in a third force. But 2024, I'm going to be the head, not the team. Okay. Have you seen the, the billboards of a, of a new force that is, is trying to uh, get into the system? Have you seen it? I've seen that very new billboard around with a max. Yes. And the max behind max, there's some name. It might be wickedness. Uh, is it not true? Max. For what? Bring your face. Let's be everybody sees you. 
Do you believe that could be the new force? That, I, I, that's I don't believe it. Portrayed? I don't believe it. Uh, they, they, will, they will just be like a, a coming to the scene. They just want some uh, uh, parties to adapt them to get their own gain. It is not nothing that is coming. It's nothing new. Apart from Goom, if Ghanaians didn't concentrate on Goom and grab my uh, ideas and for us to push it, Ghana have nowhere to go. Mm. Uh, see, let's <coughs> go back and talk about some of the existing policies. Mm. Free senior high school. Uh huh. Nothing has come. Blue, white, and green. Look at this very January. It, uh, uh, from two people are coming to stay home. Uh, for how many ma uh, months? Three months before they go to school. This didn't happen in the era of a governor. These leaders, it didn't happen in any of their, their, their lives. If it's a long term that we were having at that very period whereby we, we vacate and go and stay home about two months before we go to school, our parents will start crying. Now, look at this. You are leaving the child for three months. If the child is informed too. Mm -hmm. Coming out, they are not doing next to nothing. If there's a factory somewhere that you are going to engage these very children, that's why I'm saying we are bringing a, prof a, a decent a policy if Gada agree to vote for GUM, that whereby uh, uh, every uh, 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 SS student is going to take his service from uh, Form 2, Form 3. You, t you do your service over there. You go to a police, you go to a military, three months police, three months military. For that one, I, I, I'm going to bring that policy. So that when you complete school, compulsory. every, compulsory, every Ghanaian, every Ghanaian will know how to shoot, will know how to protect himself. Every Ghanaian know how to handle guns. Every protect Ghanian, themselves from what? Pardon? Protect themselves from what? From the enemy. What enemy? What are you telling me? You don't have enemies on this world. Americans are here. They are roaming about planting so many things by you people are away. You know they are in the, in our midst. One day, one day, it is going to bam. We we need to get serious. You see, you we want, need to you train want, our people. You, you, if, if you become president, yeah. you will ensure that everyone goes to a police school or yeah. a military school yeah. to learn how to use a gun. Protect, to protect yourself. Protect themselves. Protect the uh, nation. Do you have a gun as you speak here? May I have a gun? Right now? Yeah, I have a gun. Right now? I have a gun. In On you in the studio? Do I have to tell you? I'm asking. I have a gun. Is it licensed? Yeah. What are you using it for? Protecting myself. Against who? Uh, armed robbery. Armed robbery. So for the same armed robbery, you mm. want all of us to, to Every, have guns. Not armed robbery alone. The standard forces can come in. Me, I believe in Russia. You don't want to, you don't want to, if you become president, you don't want to protect your, your, your country so much that external forces cannot penetrate. But you that want is to what I'm saying arm that, themselves. Listen, you need to protect yourself. Protecting yourself is protecting your nation. You understand? When everybody go to national service, through police, through military, we are going to arm ourselves in this country. So, in other jurisdictions where they are trying to pass laws to control uh, the the use of arms, you uh -huh. are going to encourage people to have who, arms. Who, them. who is who is saying that? You, but you know what happens in most states in America. In most and how states, America, violence is, is, is listen on a rise. to me because because they did did those things in order. To, in order to destroy us and now it's affecting them and and for a country with all the peace that we enjoy mm -hmm. if you become president you think that's the best thing to do is to let your citizens wield guns on them at every point in no time? when you've been trained to know how to control yourself protect yourself doesn't mean that you hold the gun okay you understand let any time that you be called upon to do it you can do it called upon by called upon to defend your country okay you'll be able to do it okay you understand now you are here you will that because, create jobs listen to me listen to no it's not creating the jobs training uh, job creating is different from uh, protecting the nation that we have so if you are letting everybody go into military training at what time do you create the jobs ah, but i told you it is a national service i told you it's a national service when somebody is oh a, the training will be national it'll be service. national service okay that everybody will go through okay there's no need for you going to anywhere okay. by the time you you finish uh, school you have been trained at that very area okay all right let, let's let, let's stay on three senior high school that, that's Good. what brought us here yeah. what will let uh, shirabusum 
presidency do about the free senior high school? The free, free, free senior high school, uh, I'm going to put in the place uh, this thing, um, the people that think they are going to learn to be lawyers, they are going to be learn to be administrators, they are going to learn to be accountants, they are going to pay. Those who are going to learn to be doctors, those who are learn, going to learn to be uh, in companies, they are going to be free. We are going to pay the, for them. You see, if you want to be administrator, go to your school, pay, and come and be your administrator. But if you want to do services for Ghana, whereby you are going to be at a hospital, save lives, we are going to see to it that we are going to pay full of your school fees. You are going to take care of us. You understand? But uh, those in administration and the others, they will pay for themselves. So the policy as it is now, should you become president, you will cancel it? I will not cancel it, but uh, I will not cancel free, free senior high school, but uh, I will monitor them, I will shape them, I will put them in the right manner. And so at JHS, when I am going to SHS, I should know that I want to be a lawyer and indicate you that pay. I want to be a lawyer and pay for you it. You pay for it. Not you, the, the, That decision is not as to whether my parents can afford it or not. Well, if you want to be a lawyer, go there, pay. If your parents can afford, you'll pay. When if you, you cannot afford, change and come and help our country. We want people it, to it, go and travel, produce. So is what you're saying realistic? No, it's realistic. When you were going to SHS, did mm -hmm. you know you were going to be a pastor? But listen to me. That is where we lack... Uh, uh, decent ideas in this very country. Can't we determine to, to ourselves where your children will be there? The child will start starting doing certain things by the age of seven, ten. You, you'll be aware of I this. I mean, for some child. parents and some children, they know at an early stage what they want to become. Better. But you also know, you cannot be oblivious to the fact that mm -hmm. there are people who, even at my age, don't know what to do because you were not brought up well. Okay. If you are brought up well, you get a good coach, good mentors, uh, uh, counselors. They will put you in the, on your right path. So, so for the for the over thirty million Ghanaians, mm. not everyone can be brought up in the manner that you say. That, that's what I'm saying. Up. That we need to get counselors and the others. We are going so, to put all those things in place. So at the Whilst DHS the school, level, you bring uh, counselors. Counselors. While they are in the school, they will be visiting them. Uh, they will interview them. They know what they can do. So for the um, old woman in Fantiaqua somewhere mm -hmm. who cannot afford to pay for her child to go to free to we, we are, we are, the, the thing and, is hold open. on hold on and they have they 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 you should you become president mm. they want their child to become a lawyer yeah whom today are enjoying free senior high school when you become president then that woman would have to pay because their child wants to be a lawyer yeah so what is what, what what then are you doing for those people have you gone to uh, can you let your people google the number of lawyers that we have in this country let them google it right now and tell us what has how many lawyers that? how many lawyers do we have in the country and what is the state of this very country how many lawyers and generals that we have in this country what are we going through in this country how many a uh, uh, distant uh, uh, when this you say how many lawyers are you saying it is too much or it is what i'm saying that how many of them are we have we have so many lawyers in this country is that we so? have so many generals in this country is that so what what are we seeing we are not getting anything we are we cannot grow we can't do anything they don't add anything to our progress so in, they so in your view what 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 kind of people do we need in the country we need those who are going to produce not lawyers those who, no, no. We, we need those people who are going to produce. We don't need those people that they are going to be talking and talking and talking. No. If you are able to put things in shape, we will not need more lawyers in this very country. A lawyer can even change, decide to go to factory and work. It don't depend on those things. I don't think it's going to help this every country. How can you train everybody to become a journalist? How can you train everybody to become a lawyer? And what, what, who is going to put the food on your table? Huh? Who is going to be at the farm and do the production? Who is going to be the factory and do anything? Any professor in this country, none of professors can even make this biscuit. Hey. I see. So you don't think that we need lawyers, more no. lawyers? Mama, let's focus on production, health care, you understand, and the protection. Production, 
healthcare, healthcare. reproduction. So you will encourage more people to be doctors? More people to be doctors to see our health. And also those people who go to the field of production, with the farming aspect, and also our security, as I'm talking about. That's why I told you I believe in rushes. So, you, 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 I mean, talking about offering of services to the state, you know the job of the Attorney General, don't you? Yes, I know. Doesn't he offer services what, what, what to the state? What are they doing over there? What are they doing over there? Attorney General, what are you doing over there? We have seen next to nothing. They have done next to nothing. We have seen nothing good out of that very place. What have they done? Just people tell me something. They will tell us when they come, you arrest this thing, this thing I've been selling, this thing. When they come to the office, nothing. So what will you do uh, with, the, with the office of the Attorney General? Should you be that a, a good person who will bring people to into the books. That you sit, if you, if you go against, you take monies from this very country, your hands will be chopped. Mm? Mm? Say that again. If you steal. If you steal, red-handed, you get the money out of you. Uh, if you are in the office of, of the, the, the politician, you are a politician, you steal money, then you are going to make a law. You cut your hands physically. Against the, 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 the rights of others. I'm saying we are going to make a law. Okay. Which if you will still, supersede the constitution. Oh, oh, when you make a law, is it not a part of the constitution? Yeah, but chopping off someone's hands. The moment that we bring, the moment that we bring the it in the assistant, a law into the assistant, it will, it will be in the constitution. We will cut your hands when you steal. So People you won't need the office fooling. of the Attorney General? Pardon? You won't need the office oh, of the I'll put somebody there who will, be, who, will be, who will be in charge of that. That's what they are doing next to nothing. You see, my own time, if somebody you appoint you and you go there, you fool, I'll change you. Because but I want will you to Will anyone ever be caught red-handed stealing from, from the country? I mean, you have, you have been in this country for so long. Have you seen anyone being caught stealing from the coffers my of dear, the states red-handed? So have you gone to uh, this... Uh, I can't uh, this uh, uh, is it is a report that they are brought. They have been proven to government that this, General's uh, that you, this So this you don't, you mean if you are if you are found to 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 be or you are convicted of corruption? Yeah, bring the money. Then they will cut you off your hand. Bring the money. Or when you bring the money, we take all your properties. Mm -hmm. Whether you let us, we take all your properties. We take it. Those that belong to the same, we take it. If those that uh, we need to cut their hands, they will be cut. We we'll cut your hand or your leg, your feet. We cut it so that we cannot work properly. It will be example to everybody that you shouldn't take state money. Okay. So you bring the money, we take your properties, and then we cut off your hand. Very good. All of this. You, you, you work on we, when Daniels, you see, if I go to Parliament and I didn't get approval for this, uh, mm -hmm. I'll go referendum. Okay. And you believe that you will get it? It's, yeah. Yeah, but before you get to the referendum, it has to go through Parliament. What I'm saying is that when I go to Parliament... And they didn't vote for it. They will write for a referendum. For that one, you can opt for it. Because going to parliament and they say we won't accept it, we will write for a referendum. Ghanaians are going to vote no or yes. If Ghanaians vote for yes for me, hooray, I'll put a champagne. That's say now Ghana is going to be in good shape. Okay. If you didn't bring this practical thing in this country, we will never see any growth. Because they are there. Still from us. Me, when I become a president, let me tell you, 2024, if God permit for me to come to be a president, uh, even where uh, Omar Benyukufo is staying, if the land belongs to the state, I'll move him. Omar uh, Benyukufo? If the land belongs to the state, I'll move him from there. Any state property that I've been taken by a politician, they won't take it. Okay. It will be absorbed into the nation. Why can you go ahead and take state property? somebody is supposed to take it it would have been taken already so 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 if you become president i mean where where would you live where i live yeah. i'll live in the in the state house uh, but when you are no more in office i'm in my house you go to your house i have my houses about three houses in accra kumase here and there i have it okay uh-huh i see let's talk about the um anti-gay bill i'm sure that you've been following it a, a, a woman is there uh, then you are need to get a beautiful woman like you, then you go and take a man. What do you have to? A woman like you going to give birth to uh, children, you just have children uh, for us to get a, a beautiful woman like you, then you go for a woman to pray foolish things on bed. Why do you have to do that? You see, we need to wake up. Those things, uh, they are not important. 
w w w w how does it affect you? Uh, uh, pardon? It affects me or it affects the nation. In what it's way? It's going to affect our nation. In what way? In fact, because the production will be cut. How? People will not be giving birth because you go there, you will not, you will not get you produce anymore. You understand? That's what these very white people did in order for us to co control our country, where they bring a, a, a condom, where they tell you the HIV, a separate of where they go to PPAID, a PPAID, a Plant Parental Food Association of Ghana, take a pill, take a this, deceive us. Why they, when they give birth about 10 people over they look at the, all those children and their foreign country. They are just deceiving us. We need to change these things from there. Okay, let, let's stay on the anti-gay bill. Yeah. You, you, you support it? I support it 100%. Okay. That it shouldn't be insistence in the country. We need to cancel those things. Those people that are going to do these things, we need to arrest them, punish them. You understand? If they are to be, be, be sentenced for life, they need to be sentenced okay, for life. Okay, but also for troublesome, you have said on the show that, because you, you have two wives. Yeah. You have two wives. Yeah. So we shouldn't interfere in how you choose to or who you choose to live with and how many wives you want to have. But do you think it's okay to interfere in the lives of others? Who brought you on this earth? Is it your, not your mother? Per your words, the no. creator. Who brought you on this earth? Is it not the, your mother, the true the creator? Mm. And who, who, who gave birth to you? Is it a man, not a man? How can we continue? The person who is going through this very stupid thing, is it, who brought that very person on this earth? Huh? Somebody slept with your mom and he gave birth to you. And you are telling me that you are not going to continue to do that anymore. Not in this country. Over my dead body. Me, if I have been the same, nobody will be able to do this. Huh? Oh, you'll be arrested in the night whilst in your, in your bedroom. Even when it does not affect you personally. It don't affect me. It's affecting our nation. I'm not thinking of my personal thing. So in, if, only if, if I'm of, thinking of only my personal thing, my dear, let me birth. come before you ask. Okay. If I'm thinking of my personal thing, I shouldn't have come out to this gun. If I'm living in my comfortable zone, eh, me, I will not be proper. I will never go into the dream of poverty before I die. Because I've lived my life well, I've worked hard. So I have to think of the nation. Of which I embrace me. But I'm not thinking of the other nation. If I'm putting up a hospital here, then I go and, and, and buy a, this in, a property in, 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 uh, in Dubai. Am I stupid to do that? Whilst I have a country that God brought me on this very country, on this very land, that I need to uh, just. Uh, 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 create something new. But but they are they are they are they are gays who have children mm. through other means. You know that. And they have children through other means. Yes. What did they add to? Is it not spams? Yes. And they 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 they, they, uh, well, they have spams that they produce those things. Uh, and they, they went to uh, correct somebody's spams. And what and they, they are throwing the essay away. You see, you can't go to this very level. Say, me could you be spams I'm producing from somebody's spams. And I mean my spams, I'll throw it away. What, what you, you, in, in, in wrapping up, what do you say to the people who are opposed to the bill? To uh, the passage of the bill? Uh, they are mad people. They are mad. Even if it is a president, he is mad. Even if it is a president who is pushing that we shouldn't bring this very idea, he is mad. We are on and TV, also, so oh, can yeah, you no, be saying, Even if we see, then he is mad. And also, he don't think far. Like we think far, you wouldn't have even the opposition. We need to bring that thing to existence for us to save our country. This is a country, Ghana, that belongs to us all. We need to work hard and build the people and protect ourselves and also build a future for our nation and the children behind us. Okay. We shouldn't leave it in anything anyhow. Okay. Thank you very much. When are you choosing your running mate? Very soon. Very soon. When you get to 2024. Which month? Uh, I will not give you a exact month. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on the God show. Christian Kwabena Andrews is the founder and leader of the Life Assembly Worship Center and also the founder and leader of the Ghana Union Movement, popularly known as Gum. You also know him as Osofo Chirabusum. Um He is going to be the 2024 presidential candidate for the Ghana Union Movement. Thank you for coming on the show. Stay with us. After the break, there's more.